Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. So question for the day is what is ELK okay what is ELK now I would say we used to use ELK okay uh, the name because of there are three tools involved in it one is elastic search okay. this is together you write elastic search and then plus log stash plus kivana these are the three tools which is uh, coming together and then making it elk uh, but i would say basically there are four tools actually uh, we have elastic search also we have a log stash kivana and plus beats okay these are the four tools so you can say uh, it's not elk el bk means beats and kivana that is also you know popular uh, combination actually so this is the the four tools coming together and creating a elk stick now this stake was created by which company so this company name it from elastic okay and now these all tools which you you can see here that is is written in golang okay sorry sorry my bad this is written in java now this whole uh, things is written in java and uh, now we need to understand why do we need it okay why do we need it so each tool you can see that here has a certain rules and responsibility to create out so for example if you look at the first let's start with the beats okay so beats basically collect matrices okay matrices now you will say collect matrices but from where so various sources and send it to multiple options are given this is we can call it output but generally we can say send to elastic uh, send to log stash or elastic search okay now i'll put it in a all the list which you can think of it these bits is a one utility which is tall configure and can collect the matrices from various sources now that we call it input okay so let me put the all the input from the directly uh, from the website that will be easier for you so beats 
elastic search here it is so there's a different different kinds of beats you will find it okay so what beats file beat metric beat packet beat will log beat audit beat heart beat function beat so these are the different different utilities written for collecting different different data for example file beat uh, if you install it then you can read any file basically you can collect the data and logs from you know when you say matrices not only matrices logs also okay so any data you can collect from the file metric beat also you can collect the data from the linux server that means linux cpu ram network and all if you want that data then you can collect the metric bit packet bit uh, basically from the network will log bit uh, you can go for the windows event log windows event log means uh, here event viewer you might be taking out so these are the data if you want to capture collect then you can use when log bit audit bit for the audit related data heartbeat you can check for the some up uptime monitoring whether this end point is up or not the url is up or not something like that api is up or not like that function bit is for the serverless like a lambda and all kind of is primarily used in the cloud only so now these are the different different types of bits you have available and this we call it input okay so these are the list of inputs which you have now i just said output also required so primarily in these sessions we'll discuss output to the log stash or log elastic search but there are so many supports are there we call it output plugin so how do i know that which are the output plugin so i will ask uh, i will ask uh, this page itself list of output mm, i want pretty simple page so let's search in google beats output plugin output means where it can send the data this is the input uh, see here uh, input plugin this is the input plugin where it can connect the data and output plugin ha huh, here it is so this is the output plugin here it is so basically it can send the data to multiple places okay but right now we will not talk about each and everything I uh, will talk about just a second. This is a beat output. I think this we can refer it for the few list, but let's focus on this one. So bits at the overall it collect the data and send to log stash or elastic stash are we comfortable comfortable with it all of you yeah yes so okay is, is, is beats an agent that needs to be installed on every server uh depends on what kind of data you want yeah not every server let's say you want uh, uh, windows data the window will, will log beat if you want the linux data that matter a bit but if you want the uh, the some data from the some file let's like, like like a log and all then file bit so this file bit will help you to logs metric bit metric packet also metric will log bit event logs audit bit sub audit information policies and all heart bit just check the website up up and up time and all and so on so depends on what kind of data you want to collect different utilities are there. Okay. okay so now the question is it send the data 
to log stash and elastic stash so the question is what is log stash uh, log stash basically when you say uh, just uh, read the keyword log stash simple so one thing which i understood from this this is useful for logs only not for matrix okay this is useful more useful for the logs and what you do stashing a log see here. so now you understood that automatically what exactly it could be used for so basically log stash is a parser you can call it parser or you can also say filter okay or you can see you can also say transformer anything which you like to say for what for what for logs so why do we need this a uh, simple reason see we don't want to send and store all the data we want data means log here i am saying you don't want to send and store all the logs you want to only store the useful log for example uh, if you look at the log file there is uh, there are uh, there are uh, info also error also but you don't need a info for uh, you know analysis analysis purpose because if you start storing everything then is going to create lots of problem if you are going to create a lots of problem in terms of storage uh, search and uh, searching will be very time consuming because of huge database and all many other reasons are there so you want to transform you want to parse the logs and you want to store only the logs which you wanted uh, to in the storage you want to filter the logs as per your things you want to transform the logs transform means the some information is coming and you want to add some mathematical formulas and you want to transform and put it in a different way altogether okay so if you want to do all this stuff in simple way you call it log stash stashing the log then you have to use log stash if you don't want to parse if you don't want to filter you don't want to transform the logs then you don't need log stash are you understanding all of you yeah yeah yes yeah so this is the second component which we have so second component basically primarily used for the stashing the log now here also we have input here also we have input and output so in this session we are only focusing on the elk stack but you know what log stash can be used in a many generic ways also okay so first thing what is the output plugin available so this you can use this here that means output means where it can send to after the processing so if you look at this here a lot of options are there hello see here you can send in csv file you can send to file itself but our concern right now is elastic search see in flux db also you can do that and so many so so many options are there okay in this session we'll focus only on elastic search that means output means sending after transforming the logs it can send to elastic search this is the one see store logs in elastic search how this plugin will help us so this is the stuff but what is the input so let me ask log stash input okay see that here it can for my sessions the i will take the input from the beats but literally it has so many options are there that means log stash can take input from many sources transform the data and send to output okay. so these are the list of things which you have so why you need this list of things uh, because sometime what happens uh, you have project requirements where data may come from the different inputs and you have no idea so in that case you should refer this page
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.